What you doing? I'm looking at ReactOS. ReactOS? Sorry, I've never heard of it. It's uh, open source reverse engineering of Windows. What? How have I never heard of this? And how have you never heard of our sponsor for today's video? FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the easy to use accounting solution for small business owners and freelancers. Try it out for 30 days for free at freshbooks.com slash tech tips. We'll have that linked below. This is fun. Wow, fonts look like total garbage. I forgot what fonts were like before, what's it called, Clearview? Clear type. Yeah, clear, clear type, is that yeah. right? This is horrible. ReactOS is a free and open source operating system for AMD64 personal computers intended to be binary compatible with computer programs and device drivers made for Windows Server 2003 and later versions of Windows. So you can even run drivers that were designed for Windows and they reverse engineered this thing and somehow it still exists without Microsoft bombing it into oblivion. Yeah, it actually started uh, back in, I think it's 1996, as a uh, project called FreeWin and I think the first release of ReactOS proper was 1998, and they've been going ever since then. It has nothing to do with like the data leak or anything like that. It's, it's just straight up reverse engineered. So you mean to tell me they've been at this 24 years, and this is still version 0.4.12 alpha? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I guess let's see how far they've gotten. I mean, right off the bat, it looks really weird to me. It's kind of like a combination of Windows 2000 and like a, like a more modern Windows 70 looking like blue gradient thing going on with the, with like the menu bar at the top. In fact, how do I even, oh, weird. Like Firefox looks really different. I swear, you can run Firefox on anything. Oh, wow, it's glitchy already. Uh, re, re, react OS, media. How do you minimize something? Is that? Is uh, that... It's not typically right click minimize. This... Hey, I know how to use Windows 98 SC, suckers. I'm gonna put my recycle bin over here because that's what the cool kids do. I mean, that's what Windows XP did. Can we, uh, can we line up the icons? It doesn't work. <laughs> I see that, <laughs> wonderful. Holy crap, you put Halo on it. Okay, I, I I'm did. sure this is a guided experience. What do you want me to do? Should I just poke at it first or do you want me to? You know, why don't we shut this one down and sure. go through the installation process. Okay. This has a very Windows XP vibe to it. Yeah, remember when Windows setup looked like that? I know, right? So press enter to install. Yep, okay. Enter to continue. Yeah, it's just telling you that it's an alpha. <laughs> oh, it sure is. Format as ButterFS? Yeah. It actually supports ButterFS. Is that okay? Can I can I use ButterFS? Yeah, you can use ButterFS. All right, cool, heck yeah. Why not? So it's Linux-based then? No. No? Oh, right. Wait, what? This blows my mind. So this is a completely scratch-built kernel where they're trying to reverse engineer the Windows kernel. Yeah. But then you can run ButterFS because if you have the source code, you can just port in whatever the crap you want. Basically, yeah. In fact, they don't fully support NTFS. Right, because NTFS would be like very, very deep. You can run it off a RAM disk? Like you can just boot, so you can, it'll just take your OS off of your storage medium, throw it all onto the RAM disk, and then start it up? I actually don't know, I've never tried that. That would be so cool. I Totally dumb, it's, totally dumb. It's small enough it could potentially work. They even borrowed things from Windows that are stupid. Yep. Like the like the stupid random string of characters after the computer. Did. Why? Why is that there? Well, so if you set up two ReactOS systems, because that's what you're going to do. At exactly the same time. Yeah. It, with exactly the same name. Okay, so there's some devices that are missing drivers. Install automatically. Oh, couldn't found. Okay. Okay. Uh, what, my computer properties? Uh, manage. Hardware device manager. That's how that I used too. to do it. <laughs> cool. These other devices here, can we just go get drivers for them? Yeah, actually, uh, since we have a network connection, we can just use the App Store. The App Store? The Application Manager? Well, yeah, it's like a software distribution. VirtualBox uses the AC97 driver there. Okay, so I can, I just grab that, and yep. then, what? Um, top left. Get it. Okay, so now we need to go find the driver. Do you want to know how we do this? 
Can I try and figure it out? Sure, let's figure it out. Install a driver from a specific location. Include this path. Uh, my documents, wraps downloads, INF, next. Wait, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? All right, you can show me how to do it now. Okay. Uh, well, that doesn't seem to work very often because it doesn't like to actually copy the files that it needs. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna copy these. Then we're gonna go to the C drive under the React OS folder, not the Windows folder. Right. And we're just gonna paste it in here. And that's how we do it. It's not like that for everything. Okay. Some things that have installers that put things in the right place will yeah. work, but this was just a straight INF, and unfortunately, that doesn't work very well here. Okay, so let's go back to the one that you already had kind of set up then. Okay. NTOS kernel.exe. Yeah. So, remember how you said, oh, is it okay for us to use ButterFS? Yeah. Sometimes this happens with ButterFS. Oh. But worse things happen with FAT32, trust me. Oh, so ButterFS is the better option. Yes. Okay, so we're re-importing the disk because we had that one blue screen and now it won't boot. Yes. This seems really finicky. Is it better on bare metal? Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's still an accomplishment to boot it on bare metal. Well, the thing is, is that when it's working, it is really cool. It's just that we happened to run into some issues. It's exploring time then, right? Sure. Have a look around, see what looks familiar and what doesn't. Hey, okay, my network places looks familiar. Yeah, I've got a couple of uh, shared drivers. Oh, backslash doesn't oh, work. Oh, that's because... Canadian multilingual. Oh, okay, so we need to change our keyboard. Uh, settings, control panel, keyboard, hardware, properties? That's incorrect even on Windows. Just, just let me figure it out, okay? What, you have to reboot to change the language? Yeah, don't, don't reboot. What, no. Oh, it just prompt, it just asks you if you want to, like, hey, it's chill, you just wanna reboot for no reason? <laughs> Uh, maybe click in the white space and hit F5. Or right click and refresh or something. Maybe it wants something Samba instead. Maybe it wants hostname. Maybe it wants something not password protected. Is this supposed to work? Um, I didn't get it to work. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so we can look at some of the pre-included applications, right? Yeah, so like accessories and administrative tools. Um, I did install a couple of these, so. Okay. Solitaire. It's got Solitaire. Wow. I'm not actually any good at solitaire. I believe there is actually a method to the madness, but I don't know what it it's is. It's restart until you have three aces showing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you were able to speed run solitaire, that'd be... <laughs> 17 seconds. Oh, well, that's fine. I got that spade. I got that spade. Hey, we making progress, boys. Watch me freaking win this. I'm actually doing pretty well here. I wonder if it has the same win animation. Well, that's actually why I'm doing this. No, I'd say this is not just because I don't respect the time of the people here <laughs> trying to do their work. So I need to get six, seven, eight, and I can reveal some more cards. Okay, uh, am I back in this? Dang it! I thought I was back in it, and I wasn't. Oh wow, everything just like stacks up along the bottom. It's been a while since I've seen that. Okay, games, wine mine! <laughs> Look, I know how to play this game. SMH. S-U-H what? S-U-H nothing. Oh crap, I'm stuck. Okay, there's a way to figure this out. This one and this one. Okay, all right, what else we got? Programs, WinRAR runs? Yep. That's sweet. VLC, no way! A character map? Okay. Right. Hey, this work. No, it doesn't scroll. So it has a sideways scrolling bar, but it doesn't do anything. All right. What? What did you expect? What indeed? So we tried to put our secondary Steam drive onto our clean one that does boot. And. and now, now it, it doesn't. doesn't. Okay, so we have this other one. What's React OS blank? That's the one you installed. So it's a blank, blank slate. Okay. All right, well, we've abandoned the cooking show strategy where the cake is actually pre-baked and we're now on the OS that I installed at the beginning of the video. Yeah, um, right. I need to install the guest editions, which you can do. 
It's yeah. straight up the Windows guest editions, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. What Anthony's also doing is mounting one of our network shares as a drive in the VM using Oracle VirtualBox. Um, so we're going to finally address that Halo folder that was on the desktop of the ones that he had pre-prepared. Assuming- Come on! I just want to do the Halo thing. I should have just done it right away. Cause I was like, oh, I'll save that for last. This was working. This was all working. They all saw it, it was working seconds ago. <laughs> all of this was, can I get into regular mode? No, it's gone now. <sighs> I did nothing to it, I restarted it, that's it. I'm getting frustrated now and I'm the apologist for this thing. <laughs> hey, which one is this? This is the new one that I just re-imported. So okay. it is set up, it has the Halo. I wanna play Halo. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 <laughs> Oh, I, I, I know what's going on. For the sake of everyone's sanity, I have it scaled. Oh. So now, Why does that help people's sanity? So they can actually see what's on the screen instead of all like having everything super small. Oh. It helps the editing team's sanity anyway. Oh, their sanity, not the viewer's sanity. Well, I mean, it could be theirs too. You know, if the viewers cared about the oh, editing team. Oh, wow, yeah, the uh, mouse is a little on the broken side. Yeah, that might be fixable. Uh, how? Uh, it's like a full screen a setting? Yeah, yeah sure. it's like a thing. Well, oh, there we it's go. like that now. Yeah, okay, now it's up in the top left corner, but hey, it's playable. Oh wait, no, I can't, I, I, I can't turn past that point. Uh, um, okay. Must go only forward. To be clear, the mouse thing is only because this is a VM. Okay. Well, it runs. It's not the newest game or anything, but it ran, which is, I guess, impressive. That's a DirectX game running on not Windows. Everything else about the experience is absolutely horrible, and I'll be floored if these guys ever get out of alpha because Linux has made so much progress on gaming and is infinitely better than this in every other possible way to the point where it's infinitely better in now every way. But hey, cool. Um, I'm glad I tried it. I can't believe I'd never heard of it. And I can't believe you guys have never heard of our sponsor. That's the same segue you used last time. Is it really? That's yeah. Our sponsor, Squarespace. You think you don't need a website? Well, you do, no matter what you need a website for, whether it's to put up pictures of your cat for the world to enjoy or to, you know, promote your operating system that probably nobody legitimately actually uses. Squarespace lets you do it. They've got tons of great features. So if you wanna open a business online selling products, they've got you covered there. If you wanna promote your expo, our site for LTX Expo was built using Squarespace and quickly, mind you, and if you have any trouble using Squarespace, you can reach out to their 24 seven support team via live chat and email. The whole thing is that Squarespace makes it simple to get your message online and you don't have to take my word for it. They've got a free 14 day trial. Just go to squarespace.com slash LTT. And if you use our link, you can get 10% off. We're gonna have that down below. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out our most recent Linux update, Linux gaming update, the Proton one or? Um, that won't be out yet, but we can look at the 10 oh. reasons why Linux is just better. Oh yeah, we could do that too. Yeah. We should do a 10 reasons React OS is just better. Ah. Shortest video ever. I mean, no offense, like it's super cool that you got even this far, but. I mean, academically it's pretty good. And yes. they have been updating the wine staff as well. So that's part of the reason why wine has gotten so good. It's just kind of crap. It's just like you wouldn't actually use it, that's all.